right, welcome back everybody. The History Guy here. This is part four of the battle for Washington, the final battle in the Confederate campaign of Ultimate General Civil War. There has been an update to the game. We're now dealing with um, version 1.04. And uh, most of the updates seem to center around some of the custom battles. They've added a few more custom battles. They've made some fixes to those. Uh, the major change as far as the game, the campaign goes, is they made some changes as far as how the enemy, uh, how your units face the enemy uh, when retreating as well as when advancing. Uh, they'll now make an oblique move, which if you're not familiar with that, basically means rather than um, if you wanted to get from here to there, for example, you wouldn't just go in an angle. You would make a series of kind of front-facing turn, front-facing turn to kind of get over there so that you're never exposing your flank to the enemy. A good example of that was at Pickett's Charge at Gettysburg. Pickett's division made a series of left obliques toward the target. Uh, supposedly your units will now do the same so they don't expose themselves to flanking fire. Uh, so I'll post below uh, the notes for that. But for now, what I'm going to do is I am going to send some units up to this fort, but for the most part, I'm going to keep everybody kind of tight down in and around the city here instead of going out and trying to hold out here. And hopefully that will allow me to face any uh, potential threats that may come here because I've got these forts that are sticking out by themselves. And I'm afraid I'm going to expose myself that way to superior numbers if they come. And I'm just going to hang on for dear life against what I expect will be, no doubt, a superior enemy force by the time it's all said and done. In fact, maybe I'll bring these guys back to here. And we'll see what happens. Right now, I'm out number two to one, so... <laughs> This should be fun. And here comes the first enemy force coming in from the north, northeast. We'll go ahead and speed things along a little bit here. I'm eating some chicken noodle soup for lunch. And here he comes from the west. Now hopefully these guys can hang on up here. That guy that just yelled fine cover sounded like a munchkin from Wizard of Oz. So my hope is that by the end of this phase, I'll have lowered that 19,000 man advantage he has significantly. going to order my guns here in the city not to fire, at least for the time being. I want to try and conserve supply as best I can. The guys in the forts have plenty of supply.
I'm gonna send these uh, this cavalry back over. I'm gonna hold them in the fort. Just thinking if somebody gets overrun in melee combat, that'll be kind of a support for them inside the fort. So I feel pretty good right now there. Don't have a lot in terms of numbers to hold out in these forts, but I think they're in good shape. That's a lot of men over here. So far he's not threatening the city. But I'm hesitant to advance out. I don't want to expose myself and lose unnecessary casualties. <coughs> Excuse me. Nineteen thousand man advantage is almost down to seventeen now. That's what we like to see. He's trying to get around and hit me from this side. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and speed things along here. I'm just going to watch and make sure he doesn't launch an assault. If that happens, I'll slow things down. The nice thing is I've got lots of supply in these forts. I can hold out forever. He's got a cavalry unit that's kind of not sure what it's doing over here. Oh, he's sending some more units this way. A lot of men surrounding these forts. But his 19,000 man advantage is now down to 16,000. And still dropping. And now almost 15,000. The longer he waits, the lower his chances of taking these forts become. Although he's sending another 4,000 men over this way. At some point, I may need to consider helping him out. Oh no, okay, stop, stop, stop. Got a problem here. 
because I have no reserve unit in this fort. No, 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 Deeran, where are you going? No, don't run out of the fort. No, that's a terrible idea. Hurry up, Sully, get up there. My goodness, why on earth would a unit route out of the fort? Now I'm not going to be able to get him back in there. Okay. We're going to have to go give them some support, if I can. This is like trying to sneak men into the Alamo. This may not be the worst thing ever. Problem is now I have no defense on that side of the fort. And he knows it. Come on, Ziggler, run. And now he's got a unit into the fort, into the fortifications. Oh. Why on earth that happened, I'll never know, but I definitely should have left another unit there to plug that gap. I should have had four brigades in that fort. Now I've got a big problem on my hands. Alright, perfect. Get him out of there. Alright, we're going to put Ziggler in. We're going to get Brewster on that wall. And crisis averted, at least for now. His advantage down to about 13,000 men. And now the bonus is I've got a kind of a freelance unit sitting out here that can shoot into the rear of some of these guys. Alright, my sharpshooters just got driven off. Not a huge deal. A lot of dead blue right here. Twelve thousand man advantage. Down from what was it, twenty? Now it's 11. Love to see that number going down. He's just got all these men and he won't advance. I, don't, I would be th hurling those men at that fort. He's got men on both sides. He could overrun me so easily.
Now he's starting to shift all these battered units over. They're all one star, they're all real small. I think I probably, yeah, I destroyed that unit. I'll bring Sully up this way. I'm just going to keep an eye out for some of these units that are crossing. See if maybe I can isolate one and destroy it. Uh, yeah, they're going to stay pretty close together. I may not be able to do that. Maybe we'll bring Nagel up this way. Bring Sully back over here. Now he's got just a 9,000 man advantage. All right, just 18, 17 minutes to go left in this. Oh, I lost a lieutenant general. Darn it. So Nagel should be in a good position to catch these guys in some fire when they come over. But the, I think the, this phase of the battle is going to end before that really happens. All right, I imagine we're going to be shifting back to the north here after this. Yep, so that's the next phase. All right, back to the north we go. Maybe. There we go. So things I feel like we're pretty solid here. So it says we must not lose the fort north of Washington or else we will lose the battle. So I guess we're going to half in the next four hours to advance and take Fort De Rusty back. I'm not too worried about that. It's just a matter of kind of holding out and then when the time comes, just moving up there and advancing in the last hour or so. So I just gotta kinda check on things here. Hold the line best I can. Eventually I can probably, in fact, I'll probably go ahead and bring Hampton up over here. Just leave one back to hold this fort just in case. And some of you have given me the advice that I need to um, drop some of these guys down so I can use them in that next phase. So I'll try to remember to do that when the time comes. I'm going to get my guns resupplied. Cobb resupplied. And I'm just going to sit here and just take everything he throws at me. Oh, I'm about to lose a battery. He threw some cavalry up in... Ah, uh, that's frustrating. I'm going to bring Sims over this way. As well as this cavalry. Oh, what is going on here? He snuck some cavalry up in behind me. Alright. I'm going to send weed down here. I want to have a, a unit behind Haney because he's just so spread out here. I'm just afraid that he might caused me to lose that part of the line. See if I can, oh, Stonewall Brigade's short on ammo, so we'll use Sims to plug that gap, get Stonewall over to resupply. Another battery without supply. I've got plenty of supply down here. So I'm going to keep them guns firing as much as I can.
Oh my gosh, this, uh, this cavalry unit's driving me nuts. Where did he come from? How did he get back there? He's gonna completely wipe out this battery. We're going to send more in on a cavalry hunting expedition here. Put Brown over here to protect. It's exactly why I need to leave a unit in this fort, though, because that cavalry unit could sneak up and take it. I'm going to shift spears over. I'm just going to let his guns keep firing because he's using up what supplies he has. And they're probably not doing much damage. I've already got them by about 8,400 men. Where'd they go? these 20 pounders 24 pounders I'm gonna put over here too I'll put Siegfried up there uh, now he's sent the cavalry over here and then he figured out that I've got a unit in that fort I'd like to see his numbers down, I don't know, maybe around 15,000 before I launch this attack. I'm going to check everybody's supply level, see who I might need to swap out next. Yeah, I see you. All right, let's just uh, inflict a bunch of casualties here. When the time comes, we'll advance, take Fort DeRussi back. Cole has nowhere to go. Napoleons haven't resupplied yet. There they go. Two twenty nine. Just got to keep an eye on that time. Put Stonewall over here. He's going to be part of the advance on the fort. Same with Spears. Alright, Haney's getting low on ammo. I have to plug Weed in. Pull him off the line, get him resupplied. Bring the Virginia. Oh, Virginia Brigade broke out of that position. That's actually fine. I'm, I'm not going to reoccupy that. 
I'm just gonna hold them right here. Alright, it's down to 21,000. I'd like to see that down closer to 15. And then when Haney gets resupplied and rested, we'll get him over here and make him part of this advance as well. General Lee is going to lead that. Pounders need resupplied. I've still got, yeah, lots of supply. 43,000. Hour and a half. I get down to around an hour or so. I'll have to start thinking about that advance. So many batteries. Alright, he's still going to be at about 20,000. But I'm going to have to go ahead and start making my advance. These guys are all in good condition. Just want to make sure I don't expose any flanks. Let's face these guys here first, drive them off, push up. Doesn't look like there's anybody in the fort. At least not there. There might be somebody up on the north side. It's going to be a little tough getting up this hill at first. These guys are going to take a lot of fire, but they've got to occupy these men. These four brigades are going to make the push to the fort. Just 43 minutes left. A little slow getting up the hill, but I think we'll be okay. Sending the cavalry out.
Come on, put a volley into him before he gets away. There you go. Boys from Kentucky leading the attack. There are two brigades in there now. Oh, I hope Stonewall Brigade doesn't get... Oh, they are going to get driven off before they get in there. Twenty-one minutes left. Starting to have my doubts about this. Come on, Stonewall Brigade, get up there. He's doing just enough to occupy spears to keep me from being able to use them to take the fort. Just need that flag to change hands before the next 14 minutes are up. Oh boy. What a mess. There we go. It's going to change. Alright, with three minutes to spare, I think we're going to be okay here. And then I imagine it's going to shift back to the south again. I, di I didn't have the time to, uh, or the ability to shift units down, so I think that's probably going to hurt me, but it's going to have to make the best of it. All right, so it's time to finish this up. This last part is going to be tricky, I know, and it's going to, I think, require a little bit of uh, creativity on my part. As I just, I know that uh, I'm going to have guys coming from all angles here, so I think I'm going to pull everybody back to guard the city that I can. Um... Yeah, we'll pull these sharpshooters out. I think I'll bring bring these guys out too. I'm just gonna hang on for dear life for four hours to win win the war. I'm gonna look for an opportunity to grab some supplies as well, because I know I'm gonna have some supply issues down here. I'm going to hold off my artillery firing as long as I possibly can just because of the potential supply issues I'm going to have here. These guys, no worries about supplies.
and I think they'll be fine here too. I just gotta figure out how on earth to hang on for as long as possible. Three hours, 40 minutes. Oh, that's not good. Let's see if I can get Deering back into the fort. Oh, Sully, where are you going? This guy's going to run out of the fort. That would be terrible. No, let's not do that. Coming at me from all sides. Yikes. And here come some units coming from this side, too. Oh, boy. Come on, Leggett, put something into him. Jeez. Smith broke. Reigns is hanging on somehow. Fife's gonna get lit up. I'm gonna try to get real creative here. And get up and grab these supplies. Hard part's gonna be getting them back. Somehow we withstood the initial wave here. I gotta get Leggett's battery out of there. I'm gonna get the supplies, but I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them when I catch them because I'm never gonna make it back through with them. I'm gonna make a run for the fort for now. So Deering didn't make it through, but he's sitting out here. I gotta pull Ziggler off this line and get Sully back up there. Alright, sharpshooters, you guys gotta move. Drop Nago back into the into the city. Gee whiz. This isn't real promising at the moment. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to I'm going to drop a brigade out of here. Try to go and cut some of these guys off. Whoa, where are you going, Sully? Get back in the fort. Deering's going to get wiped out out there. Why will Fife not turn? It's because of this b brigade over here. Three hours, I don't know. Come on, Fife, help, help these guys out, get a volley into them. I think that fort will be okay. My main concern is the city. But I'm starting to feel like maybe we're turning a corner here. If I can get my guys to stop breaking. I'm going to get rains to kind of come up here too. Horn successfully stopped Hall from getting over here and reinforcing. These guys are hanging on for dear life. Oh, he's shifting units that way. Got to drop these snipers back. Come on, Reigns. Got ammo issues. Very little left, but what I have is gonna have to go to these guys. Well, he's only got about six thousand more men than me right now. All right, Atkinson, pull out. We got him. Bring reins up. I got to just kind of close this area here and tighten it up. I need Smith to turn around. Not much supply left, but I'll try to get a little bit of it to Nagel. Alright, I think I've turned a corner here. Man, this fort's going to have to hang on for dear life, though. But they've got plenty of supply. That's the good news. Let me get Ziggler down in here and just stick him in that spot if he ever got smart and just did a massive assault on this fort he might be able to throw me out of there
Sharpshooters have lost almost 200 men. That's about 40%, but they've inflicted a thousand casualties, so they've definitely done their job for me. They're about to get hit by cavalry. Hit him. Hit him. Get a volley into him. There you go. Two hours to go. Oh, ammo, ammo, ammo. There's some supplies dangling out here, but no real way to get to them. And I've got the one sitting up here, too. Just hang on, guys. Hang on. Each one of these brigades on the wall has over 3,000 kills. He's only got 3,000 more men than I do now. He's just going to run out of men before I run out of ammo. I think. Yeah, we're solid in the forts, I think. Deering's disrupting his artillery now. Man, they just got a steady pouring of fire from outside that fort. But it's not working out for him. Man, they're, they're coming in from all sides on Washington now. Jeez. Coming in from the north. They're coming in from the northwest. They're coming in from the west. They tried to come in from the east, but Horn kind of slowed them down. I just got to hang on. I'm going to move the snipers over here just to have a little more help. Get these guns over there too. I'm just concerned they're not going to be able to hang on with no, no ammo. My sharpshooters are about to be run over. They're going to be gone. probably have to try and shift Horn over here to at least relieve a little bit of the pressure. I know that means Hall's coming too. Oh, if I could just get to these supplies. Now Smith's running low on ammo, but my enemies are running low too. Alright, we're going to close the gap. I'm going to bring Reigns back. I'm going to wait till Matthews fires, and I'm going to bring Smith over here. close up ranks and just have two brigades here so I can shift Smith to the other side so oh, snipers no 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 you're gonna come over here and try to face down Hall 
He's largely given up on this fort. Alright, he's only got a thousand more men than I do now. Everybody's running low on ammo. Horn's going to help me out a little bit here, I think. At least temporarily. Every little bit helps right now. Why is Fife being flanked? He should not be getting flanked. Drop him back some more. hour ago. This is insane. I don't know if I'm going to hang on. The whole war comes down to this last hour and whether I can hold Washington. Nagel's out there paying for the win by being the one that's kind of holding these guys up. Where is my cavalry going? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to hang on. But just barely. Man, they're doing everything they can to take this fort, but there are a lot of men dying trying. Ziggler's down to just 187 men. Well, he only had maybe 700 to begin with. Whew, 40 minutes. No supplies, barely enough men. I actually have more men than him now by about a thousand. Men are exhausted, they're worn down, they're weak, they're out of ammo. Throwing rocks at each other at this point. Just trying to hold the city. 26 minutes. Really, there's only one place it matters. It's This is the whole war right here. The whole war comes down to this little area. Don't see the White House or the Capitol. It would be kind of cool if we did, but I'm not going to complain. All right, last 10 minutes of the war coming up right now. A 
bunch of starving Confederates with no ammunition and barely any men hanging on to win the war. And that'll do it. Two, one. I feel like I'm counting down to the new year. There it is. Victory. 151,000 infantry. So about 160,000 men are up against, what, about 90, 92,000 for me? 93,000. He lost 93,500 infantry. 5,500 artillerymen, including 215 guns. 4,300 cavalry. 4,000 missing to my about 45,000. None of this, excuse me, none of this matters at all, but it's fun to look at. 20,000 supplies there. Another 11,000 there, but bottom line, Confederates win the war. There we go. We are triumphant after four years of constant battling and the loss of many brave soldiers. The Confederates got what they wanted. The Union capital was conquered and the rebels achieved total victory. The President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, had to sign a peace treaty and accept all our terms, which included the complete independence of the Confederate States of America. A new page in American history opens for our newly formed nation. While several foreign countries wish to start diplomatic relations by establishing embassies in our land... In the war between the states, your leadership and skill became a matter of national pride. Your men would follow you anywhere, and you returned home a hero, greeted with parades and great fanfare. The people of the great state of Virginia elected you governor by an overwhelming margin. Your skill at managing an army in the field will prove invaluable for managing an entire state. Wow. 9,999 artillerymen, 10,000 cavalry, 300,000 infantry lost. That's actually... Not real far off of the historic Confederate casualties for the war. The, the thing is, of course, that two-thirds of them were as a result of disease rather than uh, battle wounds. Uh, of course, a lot more on the Union side than was historic. Uh, infantry, artillery, cavalry. You can see about 5-1 to one on the artillery, about 2-1 to one on infantry, about 2-1 to one on cavalry, plus the 17,000 captured. So there you have it. That is the end of the Confederate campaign. At some point down the road, I'll probably revisit the Confederate campaign one more time uh, to do it in legendary mode, which I expect is going to be quite difficult and will take a lot of micromanaging to even make it through some of those battles. But I'll get there. Uh, I'll probably take a couple days off from Ultimate General Civil War and we'll come back with the Union campaign. I am also going to go back in and look at all the units before the Battle of Washington and show you what they did during, uh, throughout the war. I had some requests to do that, so I will revisit that as kind of a wrap-up to this campaign. But there you have it, victory by the skin of my teeth, just barely. Uh, I can see why a lot of people struggle with that one. Uh, that was not easy. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you hit that thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. I uh, love all the great comments. Please keep those coming, and we will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.